Now, in other news, the State Capture Commission is scheduled to hear more testimony on the controversial Friede Dairy Farm project. Former Free State Provincial Finance MEC El Sabi Rockman will take the stand today. The commission has previously heard the project was used to channel more than 200 million rand to Gupta-linked companies. It was meant to benefit emerging farmers. Well, joining us now is our reporter, that's Erin Bates, from the State Capture Inquiry in Parktown. Erin, a very good morning to you. It's good to talk to you again. Seeing you on the screens of ENCA is indeed a great pleasure. Now, Rockman is the Free State MEC for Finance. What do we know about her career? Why is so important in this particular case? Morning, Radan, and of course, a pleasure to talk to you too. Rockman's been involved in the Free State Government since 1994. She was secretary in the legislature until in 2013, then Premier Ace Mahashule appointed her as MEC in the province for finance. Uh, she's also served under the current MEC, Sisi Tombela, uh, and she comes up, for example, in a March uh, finance or budget speech uh, delivered in Kharib, during which she spoke about the Istina farm now being under the management of the National Department of Agriculture. What's interesting as well, Brad Dan, is that in her personal profile on the uh, personal profile network LinkedIn, she makes mention of receiving a fraud certificate in 2007. That was also reported in the press, and then Premier Esma Khashule spoke about her qualification with this fraud certificate as being a sign of the free state government being serious about tackling fraud, corruption, and the like in the province. Okay, now she comes up in the Gupta links in relation to Estina. Are you able just to briefly tell our viewers how? Yes. Interestingly, of course, the Gupta leaks have been rubbished by the Gupta family and advocate Kate Hofmeyer of the inquiries or commission's legal team was at pains to go through the efforts the commission has taken to verify the data on the Gupta leaks hard drives. We know about those uh, um, different hard drive copies, one, for example, being highly important to the FBI in the United States. And what the Gupta leaks entries say is that uh, Rockman attended a 2013 me uh, meeting around the 6th of April 2013, soon before a critical Estina payment by the Free State Government to the Estina Company. And that meeting with then Premier Esma Khashule and then Head of Department of Agriculture in the Free State, Peter Debete, who's also testified at the Commission, allegedly took place at, of course, the Gupta's residence in Saxonwald. Okay, now, I mean, uh, this Estina uh, evidence has been coming up at the Commission for quite some time. And I think since the last time we heard about it, we've seen the U.S. Treasury imposing sanctions on three Gupta brothers. Now, can you just remind us, I mean, how are they linked to this Estina thing? The allegation and some of the evidence uh, dug up by the likes of investigative journalism unit Ama Bungane as well as investigative reporter Peter Louis Mayberg uh, in his book Gangster State about the free state under uh, then leader Esma Khashule deals with the, the flow of monies from this doomed project really uh, to uplift and empower black dairy farmers in the free state and the allegations are that millions or hundreds, tens of millions of rand from the free state government were laundered through complicated financial flows, circular financial flows, which raises the red flag of alleged fraud and money laundering, and in one instance paid for some of the bills at that notorious 2013 Gupta wedding, paying for things like chocolate baubles uh, and uh, refreshments, some of uh, the many uh, assets or uh, facets of uh, the Gupta wedding, which of course made massive headlines and was also the subject of some of the evidence at the inquiry. So this decision by the U.S. Treasury to sanction all three Gupta brothers, RJ, Artul, and Rajesh Tony Gupta, who former President Jacob Zuma's son Duduzane Zuma called my guy, is a significant development in terms of the work of the Commission and also, of course, law enforcement agencies. And those sanctioned persons, allegedly or according to the U.S. Treasury, part of a corrupt network in South Africa taking money from government, also includes close Gupta business associate uh, Salim Esa, too.